how's it going? All right, today we're gonna be talking about tubing and fittings. Tubing and fittings. HPLC tubing and fittings to be specific. When you generally buy an HPLC or you get tubing that comes with the instruments, most instruments, especially standard HPLCs, UHPLCs sometimes come with different tubings and fittings that we'll talk about in a bit, but the ones that you see most common are this type of tubing. It's like stainless steel tubing. It's really rigid and really hard to work with. God damn it. This is really difficult to manipulate. It's really hard to, to kind of get how you want. And then they come with these fittings and ferrules that come separately. These are really hard to work with. This guy, you always lose this. You're on the floor looking. It's, it's a mess, but generally the way that this works is you put that over here, you can ferrule right here, and then you'd have a, this goes into the port or a, or a column. So you got a column, put this one in, and then you're not done, then you're gonna need some wrenches. So that goes there, that goes there, and then you would kind of tighten down like, like so. I mean, it's doable, but there's better ways to manipulate all of this. Instead of trying to straighten it by hand, you can get one of these straightening tools. It allows you to clamp down on the tubing and you can kind of straighten things out a little bit more. It's not gonna be perfect, but much better than, than doing it by hand, but still super annoying. Now let's talk about improvements. Obviously, a finger tight fitting is nicer. You put it over a tubing, and it only needs to be finger tight. The drawback of using this type of finger tight fitting though, is it's only pressure stable up to around 3000 or 3500 PSI. So if you get any high pressure, it's gonna leak. That's why the stainless steel fittings are more used because they can withstand higher pressure. But in recent years, we've definitely seen improvements and there's finger tight fittings now that are great for UHPLC. So here's one, I think it's by Optimize. What's nice about this one is this is a UHPLC fitting, but it kind of has that peak head. So this is reusable. You can take this on and off and it's one piece. And so the way that this works is this goes through the tubing and then you have your column over your port. You insert that in. I would consider this to be semi finger tight because the reason why it's semi finger tight is you still need this tool. This goes over like that and then you can just tighten through. And that's nice and snug and that works really well. The reason why these are really great though is because they work really well in a six port valve because the head is very small. So in a crowded area, you can get a lot of them in one place. And it, you can take it off once you're done. You see how this can just slide right off when you're finished so it doesn't swage. If you're using a column, you can use the one where the head is kind of adhered onto the fitting. So in this case, you don't need that extra tool. This is finger tight and you can get lots of torque. So this is really great for everyday usage because you can take this on and you can take this off very, very easily. So it's finger tight and it's great for UHPLC. So best of both worlds. And it's one piece, so you won't have to lose any ferrules or anything like that. I still hate this tubing. Well, there's some kind of tubing called flexible stainless steel, which is which is really nice. So here's one. This is a, a nice. This one comes where the tubing and the fittings. It comes in a set, and this is finger tight, and this goes straight into the column or fitting, and it's uh, zero dead volume. The way that it works is you can move the tubing in and out like this. There's no nuts or anything like that, and these are. Very nice because it's considered flexible stainless steel. Flexible stainless steel. So it's very easy and nice to manipulate. Although they're a little bit more fragile, these come in a, a in a set and, and you know they work in this manner. So this isn't bad. If you still like to have the ferrule though, there's a different style by analytical sales. This is also flexible stainless steel, as you can see. And these are also finger tight UHPLC fittings. It does have the ferrule that's separate and then you can manipulate the depths with this guy. You can take these on and off like that, or you can put these on. And this can go straight into the column. So there's that. So that's kind of gives you a rundown of all the different types of tubings and fittings. You can kind of figure out and see which one meets your needs, but I would definitely try to stay away from the stainless stuff and then and kind of use some of this newer type of tubing and fittings. It's gonna make your life a lot easier. 